the U.S. government deficit will fall to $1 trillion this year, down from $2.8 trillion in 2021, a significant change and a direct result of reduced government spending, which was incurred by the pandemic. But even with the decline, the deficit remains large by historical standards and is expected to rise over the next decade, Congressional Budget Office Director Philip Swagel said in a statement. The Congressional Budget Office expects an annual shortfall of $1.6 trillion over the next decade, with outlays consuming 23% of GDP due to an aging population and rising health care costs. While the Congressional Budget Office forecasts an increase in revenues, it is at a much slower pace than outlays. Therefore, the deficit will continue to rise. Inflation continues to threaten the U.S. economy. Last year, the rate at which it surged was the fastest in 40 years. Therefore, the Congressional Budget Office expects that strong demand and limited supply will result in a 3.1% growth in real GDP this year and an unemployment rate average of 3.8%.